Yeah, qualifying was good. First heat was with uh, Will, Barry and me and uh, it was very close up to the first corner. I get out or I had the inside line so I got out and um, it was a very, very good time. Um, 4.4 seconds faster than anybody else in four laps, that is light years. Second, uh, I was out with Barry again actually and uh, I did a mistake. He very nicely took use of that, even at the wrong gears, I hadn't got any umph going up the hill. And he passed me nicely on the inside, I slotted behind him. And I learned a lot of new lines I hadn't known before. <laughs> I eat a lot of dust. So in the end I thought, right, I know Barry's a very fair man, so I gave him a shot. Finted on the inside, he shut the door, I went for the outside. He let me, maybe he thought that I'd starve out there, but I didn't. So when I got loose, then uh, we just about made two fastest times and uh, thereby the pole position actually. So why is he actually going to compete in this Division 2 third heat? We don't know. He's nearest the camera. Gollop is alongside him. Scrib alongside him. Jean-Luc Payet gets a much better start this time. A brilliant start. Can he keep off Skanka? He goes round on the outside. Skanka's got the best line, but Payet, I think, is... Oh, and Skanka's got Squib on the inside too. So Squib's in the lead, and Skanka's in second. We're on board with Jean-Luc Payet. Make it a challenge. Brilliant driving by the Frenchman. And Skanka now being challenged by Will Gollop. But the Zantia of the Frenchman really proving a force to be reckoned with this season. And bringing up the rear, we've got Camille Verriken. Skanka going a little bit wide. Just touches the bank there. That was a dodgy move by Skanka trying to get inside Paye. And Paye goes wide. Skanka almost stops. He's got bodywork hanging off. But Paye still in second place. And a very controlled race by Barry Squibb. Paye now depending on that acceleration of the Zantia. But Squibb has got him well sussed keeping his eye on his rear view mirrors and keeping the right line to keep Paye at bay. Skanka can't do anything about it either. He's in third place. Will Gollop almost stopped when Skanka made his mistake earlier on, but he's uh, making a bit of a comeback too. But here's the battle for first place. We're on board with Jean-Luc Paye. Verican, incidentally. Camille Verican is up the rear. And Skanka's done it! Where he touched it, the crowd are going mad. Where he touched that bank just a lap before, he rolls the car, he ruins Will Gullop's chances as well, and he didn't even have to race in this third qualifying heat for Division 2. He will be furious. No way he can rebuild his car ready for the A final. He'd already qualified for it. That's very unskankerish. Meanwhile, the race is still going on. Jean-Luc Pelé on three wheels makes his final challenge to get in front of Squibb. Has he done it? Squibb has still got the best line. If he got the best nerve as he hangs onto it and Squibb goes through. Brilliant driving by Squibb. A disconsolate gollop who was uh, balked by Skanker two or three times going around there. Jean-Luc Pelé, though, not giving up. So here they are, they haven't red flagged the race one more time, but that's good news for us really. And Jean-Luc Paye sort of swung it out into a big drift to try and get it round sideways and then get on the inside of Squibb, but he doesn't make it. Tremendous acceleration though. Squibb driving an immaculate race, but the Frenchman now making a final last challenge, the crowd cheering him on. It really is exciting stuff down the hill. Such a fast circuit. This, as I said earlier, about 120, something like that. And then hard on the brakes. Beautifully prepared. Good safety barriers all the way around here. Nice, smooth, loose. So the drivers can really get to grips with the business of competing and putting on good rallycross racing. And he does it one more time. He loves that manoeuvre. It's sort of uh, rally raid type driving there from Jean-Luc Paye. But the checker flag goes to Squibb. Paye in second place. And this is the problem that put out Skanker. He really did roll it. Just going a little bit too wide. Shows how fast these cars are going. And unfortunately for Skanker, he has uh, got a broken gearbox. Smashed wide open with oil all over the circuit. And that means he certainly will not be able to compete the rest of this meeting.